Set number 19, 10 item civil service exam related mathematics. Number 1, 56 and 3, 8 minus 10 and 5, 6. Kapag subtraction and addition of fraction, dapat yung denominator natin ay pariho. Ngayon si 8 at saka si 6, hindi sila pariho. Hanapan muna natin, dito muna tayo mag-focus sa fraction niya. There are two ways to solve this. It's either itong mixed number na ito, gawin natin improper fraction, Saka tayo maghanap ng least common denominator. Pero masyadong malaki, mas gusto ko yung uh, ganito lang siya. Tapos may whole numbers din. Tapos may fractions. So, nahin natin hanapan ng least common denominator itong mga fractions na ito. Tapos, ignore muna natin si 56 at saka si 10. Mamaya na yan. Sa fraction muna tayo mag-focus. Least common denominator. Meron tayong separate video on how to find LCD in short. Kung nahirapan kayong hanapin ang LCD, panoorin nyo yun. Ilagay ko rin yung link sa description. Kasi may mga paraang, paraan or para makachoose kayo kung saan doon ang mas magandang paraan para i-identify yung least common denominator. Dito, pwede natin gawing i-multiply natin siya. 8 times 6, that is 48. Ang 48, hindi siya least common denominator. I-divide natin ang 2. So, that is 24. Ang 24, baka pwede na siyang ma-divide sa 8 at saka 6. Although, pwede rin siya. Kung i-divide natin ng 2 si 24, that is 12. Hindi na siya pwede i-divide ng 8. So, in other words, ang least common denominator dito ay 24. Ngayon, 24. 24 divided by 8 is 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Minus tayo dito. Ang itong 24, kopyahin lang si 24 na denominator. Kaso si 9 minus 20, mas malaki si 20 kaysa ni, kay 9. Mag negative tayo. Hindi na natin gawin yan kasi mayroon naman siyang kasamang mga whole numbers. Mas malaki si 56 kayo ni 10. So, itong si 56, 56 at saka si 10. Itong 56, magbaro tayo ng 1. So, maging 55 siya. Itong 1 ay equivalent ng 24 over 24. Equivalent yan ng 1. Bakit 24 ang gamit natin? Sa kasi ang denominator niya ay 24. I-add kasi natin ito sa 9. So, kopyahin ang denominator na 24. 24 plus 9 and that is 33. In other words, si 56, 56 and 38, itong 38 ay equivalent ng 9 over 24. So, 56 and 3 8 is the same as 56 and 9 over 24. So, 56, 9 over 24 is the same as 55 and 33 over 24. So, dito na tayo. Ngayon yung isa naman, kopyahin mo lang siya. So, itong 10 and 5, 6 is equivalent to 10 and 20 over 24. So, ganyan niya. Ngayon, kopyahin yung 24 dito. First, pwede na natin i-minus ito. 55 minus 10 and that is 45. Si denominator, kinopya lang natin siya. Tapos, itong nasa taas, 33 minus 20 and that is 13. So, the answer is 45, 13 over 24. Letter D. Number 2. Negative 3 over 10 divided by negative 1 fifth. So, ito, kopyahin si negative 3 over 10. 
Itong division maging multiplication at itong si negative one-fifth ang reciprocal niya. So, ito na yon. Ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Numerator to numerator, negative times negative and that is positive. So, this is 15 over 10. 15 over 10 is equivalent to 1 and 5 over 10. Si 5 over 10, ilis natin yan, and that is 1 half. So, ang answer dito ay 1 and 1 half. Letter A. Number 3, 40 divided by 2 and 1 half. Itong 2 and 1 half, kapag division and multiplication, itong mga mixed number, gawin natin improper fractions. So, itong 2 and 1 half, that is 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 plus 1 equals 5, at kopyahin si denominator. Ngayon, 40 divided by, ang division mo maging multiplication, at ang reciprocal ng 5 over 2 ay 2 over 5. Ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Itong si 40, mayroon talaga yung lahat ng mga whole numbers, mayroon yung mga denominator na 1. So, 40 times 2, that is 80. 1 times 5, and that is 5. 80 divided by 5 is 16. So, ang answer dito ay letter B, 16. Number 4, 1 third divided by 2 over 7. So, sa division, itong 1 third kopyahin lang natin. Itong division sign maging multiplication at itong divisor natin na 2 over 7, reciprocal niya ay 7 over 2. Pwede na tayong mag-multiply. And this is 7. This is 6. So, 7 over 6 is equivalent to 1 and 1, 6. The answer is letter B. Number 5. 7 over 8 minus 3 over 5. Again, in order to subtract the fractions, you must first find the least common denominator. Subtraction at saka yung addition. Dapat pareho ng denominators. Itong denominator natin, i-multiply natin yan, and that is 40. So, kung i-divide mo ng 2 yung 40, 20, and 20 hindi naman divide ng 8. So, that means, ang LCD ng 8 and 5, or yung least common multiple ni 8 at saka ni 5 ay 40. Dito, denominator siya, kaya ang tawag nila ay least common denominator. So, 40. 40 divided by 8 equals 5. 5 times 7 equals 35. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. So, andito yung subtraction natin. In other words, 7 over 8 is equivalent to or the same as 35 over 40. See, 3 over 5 is the same as 24 over 40. Ngayon, mag-subtract na tayo. Itong denominator, kopyahin natin. So, ang numerator, 35 minus 24, that is 11. So, ang answer dito ay 11 over 40, letter A. Number 6, 4 and 3 fifth plus negative 1 and 2 fifth. Wala na tayong problema sa denominator kasi pareho naman sila. Ngayon, sa positive and negative sign tayo. Kapag nag-add tayo ng unlike sign, unlike sign, that means mag-subtract tayo. So, so isubtract natin. Itong fraction muna isubtract natin and that is 1 fifth. Kopyahin lang si denominator. Ito namang 4 minus 1, that is 3. Alin sa dalawa may mas malaking value? Yung negative ba or yung positive? Yung positive. So, ang answer dito ay positive 3 and 1 fifth or just 3 and 1 fifth. The answer is letter A. Number 7, 76 and 1 half plus 11 and 5 over 6. Kung mag-add tayo at yung mag-subtract, dapat yung denominator natin ay pareho. So, ang, dinamin, ang least common denominator natin sa 2 versus yung 6 ay 6. So, ito yung least common denominator. Yung isa, kopyahin na lang natin kasi 6 naman pa rin. Tapos, yung whole number nandito lang. 
And then, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. In other words, 1 half ay equivalent ng 3 over 6. Kopyahin natin yung whole number niya na 76. So ngayon, 76 and 3 over 6 plus 11 and 5 over 6. Next, i-add natin itong mga fractions muna. 3 plus 5 equals 8. At kopyahin si denominator na 6. I-add natin si 76 at saka si 11. And that is 87. Si fraction na 8 over 6, pwede pa natin itong ma-simplify. So that means this is 1 and 2, 6. Yung 2, 6 pwede pa. That is 1 third. So bali, ito ay equivalent ng 1 and 1 third. Itong 1 and 1 third, yan yung i-add mo sa 87 mo. So the answer is 87 plus 1 and that is 88 and 1 third. So ang answer dito ay 88 and 1 third. Letter B. Number 8. 20 and 5 over 7 minus 15 and 1 over 7. Wala tayo ma-problema dito kasi ang denominator dito ay pariho lang 7. So, 7 pariho. 5 minus 1, itong numerator, wala din tayong pariho kasi hindi naman maging negative ang result. So, that is 4. Ang mga whole numbers, 20 minus 15 and that is 5. So, ang answer ay 5 and 4 over 7. Letter C. Number 9, 43 and 2 third plus 36 and 3 over 9. Plus. So, dapat ang denominator natin ay pariho. Pwede natin gawa ng least common denominator si 3 at saka si 9. Kaso, take note. 3 over 9. Yung 3 over 9, kung i-list natin yan, bali, mag-divide tayo na yung greatest common factors nila ay 3. So, i-divide natin ng 3 ang denominator at saka yung numerator. That is equivalent to 1 over 3. In other words, si 3 over 9 is equivalent to 1 third. Rewrite na lang natin para mas klaro sa inyo. 43, 2 and third plus 36 instead na 3 over 9. 3 over 9 is equivalent to 1 third. So, 1 third ang sulat natin dito. Ngayon, pariho na sila ng denominators. Unahin muna natin itong mga fractions. Kopyahin si denominator. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 over 3, obviously, this is equals to 1. Diyan na muna tayo. Ang mga whole numbers, 43 plus 36. And this is 79. 79 plus 1 is equals 80. So, ang sagot dito ay letter C. 80. Number 10. 5 over 8 minus 1 third. Again, pag subtraction and addition, dapat yung denominator natin ay pariho. So, ang least common denominator nila, i-multiply natin yan and that is 24. Kung 24 divide natin ng 2, 2, so 12 na siya. Ang 12 hindi naman ma-divide ng 8. So, ang least common denominator natin dito ay 24. Again, meron tayong separate na video on how to find the least common denominator. At ilagay ko rin yung link sa description para mas madali yung hanapin kung saan yung video ko regarding least common denominator. So, dito ay 24. So, 24 divided by 8, and that is 3. 3 times 5, 15. Minus 24 ulit dito. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. 8 times 1, and that is 8. In other words, si 5 over 8 is equivalent to 15 over 24. Si 1 third equivalent to 8 over 24. Ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-subtract kasi pareho na sila ng denominator. Kopyahin si denominator. Ang minus lang natin ay yung numerators. 15 minus 8 is equals to 7. So, ang answer dito ay 
7 over 24 letter D.